Hello, this is Jeremiah Small from Salon Consulting. In this video, we're going to go over what we're calling the advanced techniques for working with a bundle. Don't be intimidated by the fact that we're calling them advanced. We're just calling them advanced because they do involve using the command line. In prior videos in our feature tour series, we've already gone through the steps of getting the command line set up properly to work with Carafe. So we'll use a combination of VS Code and NPM, which is exactly what we've already previously set up. If you haven't done that yet, or you don't already have that set up on your own, then you can go back and refer to those videos before getting started with this one. In this series of videos, we're using VS Code's terminal as a way to be consistent and have a single unified interface. In the prior videos where we talked about getting NPM set up, you should have already, whether you're Mac or Windows, taken the steps necessary to get a bash terminal set up in VS Code. As we've seen in other videos, it is possible to edit locally. So we're going to call this send demo desktop. If we open it in VS Code, code file open, send demo open. This will look very, very similar to what you get from the command line utility. The only difference here is we haven't run npm install yet. So if you open the readme, or we'll flip to the preview version because it's prettier. You can see the install is the first thing it's, it mentions after the prerequisites of having npm. All that has to be done is you create a terminal and run npm install. That's going to run through its process. We'll see that there's a lock file similar to what happened when we ran the npm uh, initializer. In the readme, if we scroll down to our force watch send uh, and take this option, we can go run force dash watch dash send. So we'll run that. Our local dev server is running. And if we flip over to our favorite config here and go, hello, gigantic world, command S, there we go. So if that's all you take from having NPM installed is the ability to run the dev server so that you can just hit command S and have it automatically refresh Carafe in FileMaker, that's enough. That is reason enough to have gone through the trouble of installing VS Code and NPM, and you don't have to really know anything more about it. If you're interested to know more, check out the next video, Advanced Development Practices Introduction.